Hey guys, it's Logan from Coaster Kids, and recently I've been to a lot of theme parks. I've ridden 60 coasters in total, and we went back to theme parks, returned to Carowinds, and all that stuff. And this is my current November 2015 roller coasters. And it'll obviously change next year since I'm going to a bunch of Six Flags parks. This is, but this is my current November 2015 favorite roller coasters. So let's get into it. Number 15 is Tennessee Tornado at Dollywood. This has been voted the best aero custom looper that has been ever built. It's been designed by Alan Schilke and he's a very awesome guy. And so is this coaster. And my favorite part about it is either the drop or the vertical loop. Every single part of this ride is awesome, apart from the duration. It's so short. But other than that, it's a very awesome coaster. And when you're at Dollywood, go ride it first, or else you'll be ran over by an extremely long line. Number 14 is Mystery Mine at Dollywood. My very first Gerstlauer Eurofighter that I have ridden. And I love everything about this ride. Well, not every part, but most of it. I love the vertical lift hills, the beyond vertical drops, the inversions in the end. And the only part I don't like is when you go to the brake run, it kind of hurts in this, in this spot and you're like, Ugh! but it's a very awesome coaster and I don't know why some people don't like it that much. I'm one of those people who like it very, very much. All right, number 13 is Banshee at Kings Island. This is my favorite B&M inverted coaster that I have ridden and I've ridden it over 50 times. It goes upside down seven times, the world's longest inverted roller coaster parentheses that's obvious and yeah I just love that coaster I've been riding it for about two years or so and I just really like that coaster it's very awesome and yeah I just love it number 12 is volcano the blast coaster at King's Dominion I think it's my very first intimate Inverted roller coaster that I have ridden. The launches are incredible. Going up the volcano is very fun too. And running around the volcano is good. Going to those zero, zero G rolls. That's probably my favorite part about the coaster. And everything about this roller coaster is all awesome. I see that every single time in all these coasters. Because every single coaster on this list is awesome. And so is that coaster. This is, in, that's, in my opinion, the second best roller coaster I can submit in. Number 11 is Gatekeeper at Cedar Point. My very first wing coaster that I have ever ridden. And the drop is incredible. It's probably my favorite drop on a coaster. Well, not really. Well, one of them. And all the inversions are great. And especially the keyhole element. That is incredible. That's that's why it has the name, Gatekeeper. And I love the inversions. I said that already. And yeah, I love the experience of sitting on the edges of a track. And it, it's a completely different experience. Now we're getting to the good ones. Number two. 10 is Accelerator at King's Dominion. I mean, Knott's Berry Farm. And you, a lot of people might be shocked by this, but it made my top 15 coasters and I like it. It's just the only thing I don't like about it is that the top hat is pretty small in my opinion. Just slightly shaky, but it's very awesome. My very first top hat coaster, my very first roller coaster by Intamin. And everything about it is awesome. I love the bank turns, though. I forgot to say that. Number 
Number nine is Behemoth at Canada's Wonderland. This is one of three hyper coasters to make this list. And yeah, I love the airtime hills, the first drop, the bank turns, everything, everything. And the only thing I don't like about it is that it's pretty shaky, but I, I like it. It's very awesome. I highly recommend it. Number eight is Diamondback at Kings Island. I've ridden it more times than any other roller coaster I've ever ridden in my life. 65 times. This is my second favorite B&M hyper coaster I've ever ridden. The, the height of this roller coaster is awesome. And I'm pretty surprised it's at my home park. I love it. I love the airtime hills. I love the smoothness. And my favorite row on it is probably the back row. And, and if your hands were your body, you would be so freaking drenched. And... I love the splashdown break. It's very awesome. It's one of a kind, kind of. And it's very awesome being M Hyper. Number seven is Intimidator at Carowinds. This is my favorite being a hyper coaster I've ever ridden. I love the airtime hills and everything. Same with everything. And also the smoothness is incredible. This is the second smoothest roller coaster I've ever ridden in my life. Period. And the only thing I, I can say about it is two words. It's awesome. And smooth. Number six is Maverick at Cedar Point. This is just fantastic. I love like, I love how fast it goes up the hill, and especially the 95 degree drop. It's the steepest roller coaster I've ever been on. Well, Mystery Mine counts too, but whatever. And I love those turns, I love the airtime. The first airtime hill is incredible. It feels like heaven. And then you go into a launch, and that's very fun too, and everything about it is incredible. Incredible. I love this ride so much and I'm pretty glad they got those new restraints on it. I bet it would be extremely painful with the old ones. Number five is TTD or Tuffle Rush. This roller coaster is insanely high, insanely fast, insanely long drop, and insanely short. Only 17 seconds what well that's the best 17 seconds of your life right there number four is intimidator 305 at king's dominion this roller coaster is insanely intense even the lift hill is intense the drop is intense the bank turns are the most intense thing i've ever experienced in my life and the airtime hills are pretty good too. And everything about it is incredible. And the only thing I don't like is when you go around that first bank curve, when you gray out, it's kind of uncomfortable in my opinion. But other than that, it's an awesome, awesome, awesome roller coaster. And is without a doubt, the best roller coaster at KD. Number three is Leviathan at Canada's Wonderland. Without a doubt, the smoothest roller coaster I've ever ridden. It is silky smooth and I love it. Especially the airtime hills. And if you watch my Q&A, this would be the roller coaster that I would ride for the rest of my life. Especially because it's very, 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 very smooth. And the airtime is awesome and the overbank curves are awesome. What's not to love about Leviathan? Number two is Millennium Force at Cedar Point. And the view from the top is incredible. I love the view of Lake Erie. And even when you're in line, you can see the Canadian flag. And also you can see the entire Canada, well not the entire one, but a part of Canada on top of the hill.
on a clear day. And the overbank curves are awesome. The G-forces are awesome. And yeah, I love it. And number one is, since number two is Millennium Force, the number one spot is pr pretty obvious. Number one is the one, the only, Fury 325. This is, in my opinion, the best coaster that came out in 2015 and the best roller coaster by B&M. And the drop, it seems like it seems like it's so long that you're about to start to death and that it well not really though it's only like four seconds but it's really unusual everything about it is insane and everybody loves this kosher all right that's my updated list i hope you enjoyed and if you want to tell me your favorite roller coasters then please please be sure to leave them in the comments below I'd love to hear them. And as always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And you guessed it, be brave and ride on. Bye. Special appearance. Get out, gal. Okay, bye.